Hi, Total Recapped here. Today we will be going through the events of the 2017 action fantasy movie The Dark Tower, directed by Nicholas Arcel. Warning, this video contains spoilers, so watch at your own risk. Now let's get right into the movie. The film begins in a children's camp in a region known as Midworld. The kids are having fun as several security officers keep an eye on them. These guards have surgical marks on their necks as though they've been operated on for a special reason. Suddenly, a siren begins to sound and the watches of the children's wrists begin to beep. A gang of monsters with synthetic skins gather the children and transport a handful of them to a machine located on another planet that is accessed via a portal. Later, it is revealed that security guards are nothing more than monster-like beings with human-like skin, whose goal it is to kidnap the children. Walter Paddock, aka The Man in Black, is in charge of everything and appears to possess supernatural abilities. A girl is selected from among the youngsters and is strapped to a machine where she is subjected to some sort of experiment. Her shine is then used by the monsters to fire a tremendous blast against the Dark Tower. In the following scene, we find Jake Chambers, a teenager having a dream in the middle of an earthquake. Jake shares a home in New York City with his mother Lori and stepfather Lon, with whom he has a strained relationship. Jake's father Elmar died a year ago while attempting to save victims from a fire. Jake paints everything he observed in the dream shortly after it ends. No one knows why this is happening to him. Lori ignores his visions when he attempts to tell her about them. Jake goes to visit a psychologist regarding his conduct and the frequent mid-world nightmares that he gets, which he represents in his paintings. However, his nightmares are disregarded as trauma from his father's death and the doctor advises him to get more sleep. In the next scene, Jake is painting another of his visions at school when his sketchbook is taken by a bully. Before being dragged away by other kids, Jake hits the bully and begins assaulting him. After the commotion while he is out on the streets, Jake finds someone altering his skin, much like he did in his nightmares. Meanwhile, an elderly man warns him to be careful since there are monsters in the area who are kidnapping and abducting youngsters. Jake now feels that it is not simply a dream, but that it also exists in the real world. In his dream, Jake witnesses a father-son combo in Midworld. The gunslinger, Roland DeShane, is in the woods with his father, Stephen. When they hear Walter's voice, they prepare their weapons and recite the gunslinger's creed. Walter comes and uses his manipulation magic to murder Stephen by cutting off his respiration. Walter's magic, on the other hand, has no effect on Roland. He tries to shoot Walter, but Roland's bullets are caught by him. Meanwhile, in one of Jake's nightmares, he sees an abandoned home and sketches a picture of it. He searches the internet for information on the house but comes up empty-handed. Later, he posts the photo on a web forum to check if anyone knows where it is. On Lon's request, two persons claiming to be from a mental center who work for the school come to bring up Jake. Jake's mother requests that he accompany these men to the doctor. However, Jake recognizes the scar left by the synthetic skin on one of their necks right away. Meanwhile, Lori is still attempting to persuade Jake to accompany them for his own good. He then notices that someone has answered to the house's inquiry, stating that it is located in Brooklyn. Jake sees this as an excellent chance to locate the house. He enters the restroom and escapes via the window. Thankfully, the house looks to be close by. Jake tries to elude the two monsters as they pursue him through the city streets. In the next scene, Jake travels to Brooklyn and discovers the home. The house does not appear to be abandoned since something in it is odd and suggests that someone is present. There is a device within that opens a portal to Midworld. Jake enters the portal code 1919, which is seen behind one of the guards at the beginning of the film. The home, however, tries to stop Jake from entering the portal by gripping his legs and entire body, but Jake enters the portal after releasing himself using all of his powers. Jake then goes into a huge desert after passing through the portal and becomes thirsty. He sips from a water bottle that has been placed in front of him. As soon as he finishes his drink, he comes across Roland, who believes Jake is working for Walter and attempts to push him down the cliff. Jake, on the other hand, shows Roland his dream drawings and what he's seen in Midworld, and Roland begins to believe in him. Roland says that Walter is trying to destroy the Dark Tower which connects Midworld and Earth by utilizing kids with shine, a specific form of power featured in the novel and film The Shining. If Walter destroys it, monsters will be released into both realms, which he will be able to govern. Following that, Roland enlists the boy's assistance in his quest for Walter. At night, Jake begins drawing on the ground that contains a circle divided into numerous segments. Roland observes the drawing and informs Jake that the world is made up of numerous realms, one of which is ours. He also informs him that at the center of the circular universe, there is a tower that rescues and protects all worlds from demons and wicked spirits. Roland informs him that Walter can't demolish the tower by himself, so he enlists the help of the kids with pure souls. During midnight, Jake experiences a hallucination of his father calling to him while asleep and begins heading towards it. 
Jake takes his father's hand and reveals a monster before Roland can stop him. Roland awakens and begins firing at the creature incessantly until it leaves. A new creature emerges later and assaults Roland. It tries to mislead Roland by impersonating his father, but Roland isn't fooled and he kills the monster as it tries to hurt Jake. In Walter's hideaway, he discovers that the portal Jake used has been triggered. He visits the portal and finds a piece of wood with Jake's blood on it. He brings the piece of wood to one of the monsters who can tell them about everyone by just tasting their blood. Walter then learns about Jake's identity, leading him to realize that Jake has a powerful shine. He subsequently proceeds to Earth to investigate. Walter goes to Jake's apartment where Lori and Lon find him. Walter kills Lon and forces Lori to bring him to Jake's room, where Walter finds all of his drawings and realizes that Jake knows about Midworld. He tries to get all the information about Jake by hypnotizing his mother Lori. After his aim is fulfilled, he kills Lori and leaves the place. Elsewhere, Roland brings Jake to a village of seers and speaks to one called Ara, who appears to be wise and beautiful. Roland then asks her to interpret Jake's visions and drawings. She tells him the way to get to the building that Jake had drawn. Later that night, she talks with Jake and tells him that she knew he was a special boy and has a pure soul. Ara also adds that his soul can generate a lot of energy for which the evil people are behind him. She then introduces a new talent in him, which is that he can communicate with her without speaking. They can just communicate by teleportation and reading each other's minds. After Jake shares his visions with Ara, she goes to Roland to tell him that the way to the portal is very long and dangerous. It will nearly take them about six months to reach the portal and have to face a lot of difficulties on the way. Jake then mentions that he knows the location of Walter's base where there is another portal which will lead to the drawing place on Earth. After they reach the portal, Walter knows about them and sends his monsters to attack them as well as the villagers. They kill some of the villagers before one of them tries to kidnap Jake. They also set the village on fire and raid the villagers' homes. Roland ends up killing all the other monsters coming out of the fire. However, the final creature gets far as Roland tries to concentrate on his target. He eventually shoots straight and hits the monster, saving Jake just in time. After this, Roland and Jake return to Earth and go to a hospital where doctors treat Roland. On the other hand, Walter visits the town and meets with Ara. He asks her about the location of Jake and Roland and also the reason for visiting the town. Ara tries not to speak a word, but Walter casts black magic on her, after which she begins telling all the truth about Jake and Roland. On Earth, Jake again meets the same old man who warned him to be careful before. He turns out to be the guard of Walter's base on Earth. Jake reads his mind and visions to find the location of Walter's base. Roland then goes with Jake to his apartment. He finds Lon dead in the living room before running to his room and seeing a burnt hole in the floor, causing Jake to realize that Walter killed his mother. He even sees a vision confirming this. A devastated Jake breaks down. Roland tries to comfort him by promising to kill Walter. Jake is still angry, so Roland tries to teach him the ways of the gunslingers, including how to shoot and how to recite the creed. After this, Roland goes to a gun store to get more bullets, only to lose Jake outside and himself being trapped inside the shop. Walter confronts Roland in the gun store and manipulates the shop owner into shooting at Roland. Despite this, Roland kills the shop owner by shooting him in the neck. Jake is seen running around the streets where he tries to catch up with the cops, but gets captured by Walter's men instead. Walter then leaves Roland and takes Jake back to Midworld. In the next scene, we see Jake being brought to Walter's base. Here, Walter gets to know that the boy has an extremely pure soul and a lot of light inside him. Walter then has Jake strapped to a machine and proceeds to strike at the Dark Tower. Suddenly, earthquakes hit New York and the sky glows red. Roland also arrives and fights his way through Walter's lair and all of his monsters. Seeing this, Jake takes control of himself and does not admit all the shine present inside him. Jake then uses his mental connection to Roland to help him find him. He also tells the code of the portal so that Roland can enter the midworld. Walter faces off with Roland by continuously deflecting all of his bullets. When Roland shoots the mirror present above Walter, it breaks and falls upon Walter, but he is able to control all the pieces and shoot them back to Roland. Roland tries to shoot all the glass pieces, but one of them cuts through his hand. He eventually hides in a safe place. Walter attacks Roland by breaking down the concrete upon him. He thinks that Roland is now dead and approaches to burn him. As he is about to do so, Jake reaches out to Roland and inspires confidence by retelling him the Gunslinger's Creed. Roland wakes up and shoots one bullet and then another to bounce off the other to strike Walter in the chest. Roland shoots him again until he finally finishes him off with a headshot. Roland frees Jake and the entire lair blows up. In the final scene, Roland and Jake are back on Earth, which is back to normal. Roland invites Jake to join him in the Midworld since he now has nowhere else to go. Jake accepts and they step through the portal. And that was my recap of the movie. Hope you enjoyed it. Now comment on what your favorite part was and make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care and goodbye.